Hey guys, my name is Brandon and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see in here, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button so you stay notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's get straight on with today's video. Hey everyone and welcome back to Is That More Brandon. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a video review for episode 7 of Squid Game uh, The Challenge. So. From where we left off at the end of episode 7, uh, we were obviously picking the top 20 contestants or the top 20 players and it was basically a game of you pick your friends and once, once there are 20 people that are picked, the other 11 get eliminated and I think at the moment we already had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so you had Trey, sorry TJ, 182, uh, 287, 286, 254, 077, 018, 019 and 393. And 393 was kind of debating, do I pick another girl? Like a, make an alliance, have another girl, and she's obviously a girl herself. Or pick Phil, player 451, and then just kind of hope that he picks uh, a girl. But obviously you can't control what someone's going to pick. So in the episode uh, 7, she did go ahead and pick Phil, player 451, and basically whispered in his ear when she gave him a hug uh, that, he wanted, that she wanted him to pick uh, a girl. And she basically said, pick a woman please. As if like, this is kind of our plan, I couldn't do it because I wanted to save you, so can you do something to kind of help me? And he then picked player 278, she picked player 16, 16 picked 23, 23 picked 51, 51 picked 221, and 221 um, picked 355, she was actually the last woman standing and thankfully she got chosen. And then we found out that there were 16 people left, 5 more were going to get chosen and then the other 11 were going to be eliminated. So player 355 chose player 429, 429 chose 418, 418 chose Trey 301, and then he chose player 269, and player 269 chose 031, one of the guys from Gambo Gang, and unfortunately uh, player 204 Dan was also for Gambo Gang but he ran out of spaces and was obviously eliminated from the game. And we found out that there were 20 players left. Uh, player 19, so she basically said there was 19 players to go, but it's basically in grasp now in terms of reaching the money. And player 221 said to player 251, I'm glad you're still here. Uh, player 451, so this is Phil uh, with two L's, said that he had lots of friends when he was back in Brazil. Um, and he actually, when he moved to America, found out he didn't really have that many friends. He was actually bullied quite a lot. And that kind of made him a lot braver. Um, and it kind of made him the guy that he is today. Um, he said he studied psychology, so he kind of understands people a lot more. And in terms of this game, he doesn't really have a strategy. He's kind of just going with the flow. Um, and he said he's a going with the flow kind of guy as well. Uh, player 287 May um, said to player 182 TJ that she owes him her loyalty. Um, and actions are a lot more powerful than words. And she also said to the camera that she didn't actually trust him at first. But he clearly has her back, which is why he saved her. Um... And then player 286 said to player 254, whatever happens now, just compete your ass off. Um, do this for your kids and then obviously buy me a beer when you're back home. And then saying he'd come and visit him and, you know, the kind of lads thing. Um, and player 254, Mikey, uh, said that he actually has three biological children, two stepchildren from his wife's previous marriage. And he has an eight-year-old daughter called Scarlett who is non-verbal um, or was non-verbal and has now started to become speak able to speak um, and I think he said his job or I think it mentioned that his job is actually a full-time carer he said if he was to win the money he would obviously take the pressure off that and would give her some sort of accommodation or safe space for when obviously she was older and then the voice said to the staff and that they should prepare for the next game so this is where it starts getting a little bit more interesting. So player 221 uh, said, let's get this cash. Uh, did a little dance and song. They're all singing about, you know, woo, let's go squid game. Let's go squid game. Let's get this cash. Let's get, I don't even know what the song was, but something reminds that. And yeah, hadn't really seen much of player 221 before, but you know, he was still in the game. Very funny, very, you know, energetic. Um, and then player 418, Roland, uh, basically said to player 301, Trey, hopefully it's an eating game, and then obviously he'd be doing all right. Um, I think this Roland character kind of came out of nowhere, but I remember that he was actually friends, or was kind of speaking with Trey and his mum, when they, obviously the both of them were in the game, so he was kind of there, and I think he was asked by Trey whether there was any other targets on his mum. Um, to get her out of the game, obviously there weren't, she kind of just eliminated herself, because obviously, yeah, in the Marples game, only one of the two could get through. 
So the final 20 entered a room, this was I believe the game room, and there was basically just a black box covered in cloth, which could literally have been anything. Um, it was revealed that it was a claw machine with 20 bears, each bear has a number, and the number would represent the place that the contestant would play in terms of the game. So if they got number one, they'd go first, and if they got 20, they'd go last. And I think as soon as I realised that it was a numbers thing, I was like, right, okay, I know exactly what the game is. It was, the it was the glass bridge game, where there's literally 17 options of, it's almost like heads and tails of a coin, but you had 17 glass panels in two columns, and you literally had to just decide left or right. One of them, you'd be safe, you'd be able to continue going forward as if like um, going across tiles, and if you chose the wrong one, like a trapdoor, you would just disappear. Obviously, the difference between this and the main show is in this one, you obviously don't die, you just kind of disappear, as opposed to, you know, actually be dead. Um, so yeah, they basically found out that each of them were going to pick a bear and then that bear would represent a number and then they would actually choose who they wanted that number to represent. So, um, for example, May or Mai was up first, uh, so she's player 287, she got the number 4 and she thought that she would give it to player 077 because player 077 hasn't actually attempted to talk to her. So again, it's kind of that she's going against the girls because obviously player 77 is a girl. So yeah, that was a not great start. And I think a couple of the girls were a little bit annoyed that she was kind of, again, going against the girls. She's already done that, done that previously by picking a guy and now she's done that again. Uh, player 278, um, she got the number six teddy bear and she gave that to player 031. Obviously he's part of Gambo gang. Um, obviously there was a few other choices in between, but some of the most important ones were player 393, so she had number one, and she gave that to TJ, so basically he had to go first, basically saying he's the best leader in here, and if there was anyone that else that could get us to the end, it's going to be him. Very smart move, because either that's one, she genuinely believed that, or two, if there's anyone that's going to be eliminated who's going to be big competition, it's actually going to be him. So it was kind of a two-in-one. Potentially he could have got everyone to the end, but potentially a 98% chance he's going to get eliminated. Um, so hopefully uh, that doesn't happen later on, but obviously I already know what happened. And he basically said to the camera as well that he did use to jump roofs when he was younger. Um, the only thing that happened is that he did fill um, in a bush as opposed to on concrete. So I guess he kind of has experience of jumping from panel to panel, but in this type of game, anything can happen. Um, and then uh, player 182 TJ said, I told you I've got your back and he gave uh, number 20 position to Mai. So player 287, again, he kind of, she said she didn't trust him previously to a couple of the others and he still, surprisingly, because obviously he didn't know that she didn't trust him at first, he still said, look, I've got your back and you can go last. So she, basically she's got straight through to the next round because um, at least 16 people will get eliminated before she gets on the glass and by that point you'll already know the route completely and then we had kind of player 418 so the number 10 position to kind of halfway with player 454 and then yeah there's a few others so trey gave number 15 to 269 um and then you had a couple of the girls at the end so 286 gave number 17 to 016 uh, 054 gave number 16 to 018 and player 23 gave number 19 to 019. So I think those three girls and May, um, she'll be safe. Um, so that should be fine. So basically the order of play was 182 TJ, 221, so I believe he's another gay guy, 301 Trey, 77, one of the ladies, 278 Amanda, 031, one of the guys from Gambu Gang, 393, the deaf girl, 418, 429, 454, can't remember who any of them are. 286, 054, one of the girls, 023, one of the girls, 254, 269, 018B, 016, I think one of the other girls, 355, not quite sure, uh, 019, Amanda, or no, not Amanda, 019, probably is Amanda, the one I called Amanda isn't Amanda, uh, Jack, you know, probably is Amanda, I'm going to just say, I'm going to stick with Amanda, I think it's Amanda. I don't know, probably Amanda, and then 287, oops, and then 287 is my May. So that was basically the order. So basically, whoever was at place 17, 18, 19, and 20, majority and most likely is that they're not going to get eliminated. Um, so yeah, player 182 um, said basically to the camera that to guess 17 tiles correctly is basically impossible. And he said, it's been great to know you all, kind of 
hinting and foreseeing that he's not going to make it through. Um, and then player 418 Roland basically said it's probably a bit more fair if each person does one choice and you kind of go in front of the person. So for example, if TJ was to pick a tile and he gets the correct tile, whoever was second goes onto the same tile and then they go forward. And then player three would then go forward. So basically, as long as you, on your first and one only attempt, get it correct and you're, you stay, the next person's responsibility is to continue the, the tiles. And it makes it a little bit more fair. Uh, player 418 says she didn't think this was a good... Uh, player, two, one, player 23 said this wasn't a good idea and that every player should just play for themselves. And player 182, TJ, said that he only has to guess one tile correctly and he basically stayed in the game. Uh, he didn't get that tile correctly. He actually eliminated himself because he picked the wrong tile. Uh, same with 221. He went to the same tile that uh, TJ was on and then went to try and step forward. He also clicked uh, the, wrong, um, the wrong glass tile and he actually eliminated himself. It was Trey up next, player 301, the mum and son combo that's now just the son. And he basically said that the higher numbers were basically really, really relaxed, kind of saying, oh, where do you think you should go? And, you know, being really like this. And the lower numbers were just there like, crap, I could get eliminated. I could lose that four million pounds. Um, so, yeah, player 301 managed to click a correct uh, door that wasn't a trap door. He kind of stayed. Player 77 said she'd go ahead. So she went ahead and she lost her place in the game as well. Um, and then it was player 278 who was behind Trey and he basically said well she's not moving we're running out of time I've kind of hinted that I shouldn't have been in this position that I shouldn't have been voted as this number um, and she basically kind of didn't get the hint of oh I should be going in front so what we see at the end of the episode um, is just him jump to the next tile and I think player 278 said that here she's not going to sacrifice herself she if people are going to wait for her to move past um, to the next person, then she's just going to stand there and wait until the time runs out, basically, and then they'll they'll basically lose the money. So, yeah, I think it's because she kind of already sacrificed her friend in the previous game. She wasn't going to then sacrifice herself in a game that she didn't even agree to the rules of, because I think she basically said, "Well, hang on, we didn't all agree to that. It wasn't a unanimous decision." Majority of people said, "Yeah, that's fine," and then there was a few people that were like, "No, I'm not doing that." So. That's where we ended episode 7, so as of now we have 17 people left, because obviously we've lost TJ, we lost player 221, and we lost player 077. Trey, obviously like I said, has taken that jump, so we potentially could lose Trey, um, but obviously I'm sure his mum's going to be watching, his dad's going to be watching, I'm obviously watching, and yeah, really really nice guy, so it'd be a bit disappointing if he was to just disappear now. Um, I, I would like to see him actually get through to at least the next game, um, potentially go on and, and win it as well. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know who has survived and I don't know who hasn't other than those those three. So, yeah, we'll see what happens in the next episode. But until then, I do hope you are enjoying my reviews. Um, they are very long, very detailed, very quick paced. But um, like I said, it's an absolutely amazing series so far. I would love to get on the show. So, you know. 2024, 2025, whenever the series next opens up, I'd absolutely love to apply for it. I think it would just be quite fun. Like, I don't think I'd be one of those to go out in the first few rounds. I think I'm quite good at working out people. I'm quite good at doing little mini games and stuff. I would be very brutal and I'd get rid of people that, you know, I just don't like or people that are just competition, whether it puts a target on my back or not, because, you know, that's all part of the game. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to go watch episodes 8, 9 and 10 at some point and yeah, do the reviews for those as well. But like I said, 17 people left. Um, we've just lost three in this glass uh, bridge game. But let's see what happens in the next episode. And until then, thank you very much and I'll be with you very, very soon. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.